Nolajen here in Chattanooga, Tennessee at the Pickle Barrel. Good stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nolajen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our USA Travel Vlog, we're in downtown Chattanooga, Tennessee, visiting the fantastic neighborhood bar and grill, The Pickle Barrel, on our travel search for the best burger in the USA and the top food Tennessee offers. The Pickle Barrel is ranked by many as one of the best burgers in Chattanooga since they opened back in 1982. This bar and restaurant is very popular for their great burgers and other good food, along with staying open late with the kitchen closing at 1.30 a.m. and the bar closing at 3 a.m. The Pickle Barrel is located at 1012 Market Street, which is about seven and a half hours and 489 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. The fascinating building the Pickle Barrel is located in was built back in 1893 and in the 1930s it housed a restaurant named Triangle Grill, which in 1964 was frequented by union boss Jimmy Hoffa, who was known to enjoy the porterhouse steak here while he was on trial in Chattanooga. So this place has a great upper level patio deck area, along with having an outside deck area, but it's a little cold today, so not too many people are on the outside bottom floor, while the top floor has a covering on it, which makes it a little warmer up there for that patio area upstairs. So as we've headed on inside, you notice they have their placemat with their name on it, like so many places. And this is my first visit here, actually. I've walked past it many times and always have been fascinated by it, but this is my first opportunity to finally try it with a major there. So we're on our trip to Virginia, and this was a good spot for lunch. So we're going to head up these tiny little stairs and explore the upstairs area. I'm excited to see what it looks like up here, as this space definitely looks interesting from the outside. And whoa, all right, it is pretty cool looking on the inside as well. So they do have some indoor seating in here and a nice little small bar area up here. And then we can head on out to their patio area and check that out. The Major's really cold though. He's ready to uh, put on more layers. He's getting a little chilly here in Chattanooga. So as we walk outside, it's like, wow, this is a really nice space out here. They've got it all covered up with plastic and some nice heaters out here and some really good seating. So this is a very comfortable space. I kind of uh, am excited to come back and sample this place again in the springtime when the weather's warmer again too, as I'm sure it's very nice. Now the only downside about this bar is it does allow smoking still, so that kind of would chase me out of here if it got really smoky. Uh, there were some people at the table next to me smoking. Fortunately they have pretty good ventilation, so the smoke didn't really overwhelm me. They had this other big bar downstairs that was just packed full of people the entire time I was here. And then this is the section that the Major and I ended up sitting in towards the triangle part. And they have some really beautiful decorations in here. The lights were fantastic and some stained glass on the windows. So the Major and I got a really nice table here next to the window and the Major's getting really hungry, but we're gonna check out the drink menu first. So on draft, they have Bell's Two-Hearted Ale, Bud Light, Youngling, rotating local drafts, three taps that rotate between such brewers as Hutton and Smith, Odd Story, Chattanooga Brewing Company, Wanderlinger, Five Wits, Naked River, and more. Domestic, Bud Light, Bud Heavy, Coors Light, Coors OG, Miller High Life, Miller Light, Michelob Ultra, PBR, Rolling Rock 16 ounce can, Stouts and Porters, Guinness Pub Drought can, Sam Smith Oatmeal, Wiseacre, Gotta Get Up to Get Down, IPA, Chat Brewing Company, Hill City, Talkfish Head 60 Minute, Hutton and Smith Promenade, New Belgium Voodoo Ranger, Sierra Hazy, Wiseacre, Bo Echo Hazy, Ells, New Belgium Fat Tire, Newcastle Brown, Rogue Hazelnut Brown, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, Sweetwater 420 16 ounce can. Lagers, Corona, Dos Equis Amber, Heineken, Red Stripe, Schneiderbach, and Stella Artois. On the next page, we have White Sweets and Wits, Abita Purple Haze, Blue Moon 16 ounce can, Catawba White Zombie, Einstock Icelandic White L, Tailgate Orange Wheat, Sour Cider, Seltzers, etc., Angry Orchard, Bull Rock, Dogfish Head, Sequench L, Gypsy Circus, Monday Night, Dr. Robot, Strongbow, Gold Apple, White Claw, Woodchuck, Granny Smith, Cocktails, a full bar and can make most drinks, but remember, you're not on a boat. Here are a few of our favorites. They have a motorcycle sidecar, an old dirty pickle, our signature dirty martini made with pickle juice, a whiskey rebellion, a thin lizzy, an easy breezy, the bombs, and pickleback. Chase the liquor of your choice with pickle juice. Now on to the food. So we have munchies with a stuffed spud, a grilled brie, 
fried pickle spears, half moons, fried mozzarella with a side of marinara, lucho nachos or tachos, junkyard dog, pickle brine chicken tenders, jumbo barrel wings. And we have our half pound burgers, the old standby, the black and blue patty melt, black bean, bacon mushroom Swiss, pimento cheese, pepper jammer, the whistle stop, the signature, then we have Sammy's with the Immigrant House Roasted Beef and Corned Beef, BLT, BAT, The Club, Downtowner, Baked Ham Roasted Turkey, Melted Cheese, Southwest Wrap with a Flour Tortilla, Philly, French Dip, Big Cheese, Reuben, Hot Chick, Chargirl Chicken Breast, Dutch Treat, Hot House Roasted Beef and Turkey, Melted Mozzarella. On the next page, we have salads with house-made dressings, the house salad, chef salad, yard bird salad, then desserts, we have fried moon pie, hand-dipped milkshake, brownie sundae. Then we have our sides with bag of zaps, chips, steamed broccoli, loaded mashed potatoes, dill potato salad, chili bowl or cup, sidewinder fries, onion rings, fried green tomatoes, tater tots, whole dill pickle, coleslaw, drinks, Coke, Coke Zero, Sprite, Dr. Pepper, sweet tea, ginger ale, and coffee. Speaking of coffee, the official coffee sponsor of the Nola Gent channel is Dead Sled Coffee. and I've got a 20% discount code for you here. They're a fantastic coffee company with all kinds of horror movie and rock and roll star themed coffees. So it was nice and cold outside, so I decided to start my meal out with a cup of the chili. Now, I prefer my chili without beans, but this one did have beans. So it does have a nice aroma to the chili. It's uh, really pretty looking and it tastes very nice as well. Although these beans, the major being locked in a car with me all the way to Virginia, it might not smell so nice in there. So we'll see what happens with that. So the uh, flavors definitely did complement each other. So even though the beans are not my preferred way to have chili, these beans actually tasted pretty good with the chili. And it had a good spice level that I did enjoy. And it went down very easily. So this definitely was an enjoyable little way to start my meal out. And, uh, you know, I just completely destroyed this chili, so go ahead and destroy the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this chili. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. The Major got some chicken wings, and these are very meaty and look well prepared, so the Major is absolutely destroying these things and eating them in record time. Look at all the ones he's already sucked down, he gave it a thumbs up. And he's completely going to destroy these things in no time flat. He's really enjoying them. I'm not the biggest fan of chicken wings myself, but he loves them. And then I, of course, had to get the burger with some onion rings. Ooh, it looks beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is quite a nice looking burger. The bun is really nice on here, I can tell already. So this is uh, quite a juicy, delicious looking burger. And it smells amazing. It tastes really great. Oh, look at there, it's cooked perfectly. It's a nice thicker piece of meat. It's got great flavors, it's juicy, and I'm really enjoying biting into it. Now, look at these, we gotta try an onion ring, of course. Arr! My pirate monocle, here we go. Oh, so these are pretty decent onion rings. They're like a little extra spice on there, but overall, they're still pretty good. I just like my things a little spicier, and then of course, we have to get a dill pickle in the pickle barrel, right? So. If you're a basic good pickle spear, I'm enjoying it. And you know, I'm always a little sad if somebody does not give me a pickle spear on my sandwich. And look, also I got a little french fry. And oh, this is a good french fry. So I would enjoy eating more of these as well. And let's go ahead and get back to this burger. Ooh, I'm quite enjoying the flavors in here. So I definitely can say I would come back for this burger without question. So I really enjoyed each and every bite of this thing. It's got a lot of really good layers of flavor. This bun is fantastic. Structural integrity is spot on. Everything is really holding together very well. Uh, it is really easy to hold, even with all of this lettuce and the tomatoes on there. Everything is just perfectly staying together. It's a pleasure to eat this. I don't have all kinds of things slipping and sliding. Everything is just really easy to do with this burger. So they definitely have perfected the art of a burger that's really stacked with a bunch of ingredients, but it still stays together perfectly. And the bun is not crumbly, it's not falling apart. It's completely maintaining everything inside of it, and I'm very pleased. This is definitely one of the better burger structural integrity buns, meat, and vegetables that I think I've experienced in quite a while. 
So they definitely get two thumbs up for the way they built this burger. And you can tell they've got a lot of experience building burgers that are gonna hold together and hold up to somebody that's hungry like me taking it down. So I'm very happy the cheese is melted perfectly as well. Each and every bite has a good variety of cheese, meat, tomato, lettuce. So everything is proportionally really well done and they really have engineered an excellent burger here. A little sad, I only have about one bite left and now I've totally destroyed this burger. Although I've still got some delicious onion rings left to eat, oh yeah. The Major of course uh, has completely already swallowed down all of his chicken wings. And he's ready to get back on the road and start heading towards Virginia, but I've still got a few more onion rings to savor and enjoy. So he's getting all impatient with me. He wants me to hurry up and finish eating. So I'm going as fast as I can, but I'm really having fun with it. All right, one more bite left. Now I've totally destroyed my plate of food, so go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this delicious burger and the onion rings. And while you're down there, check out links to my Patreon account because I do work for tips, and I appreciate any assistance with that. And the Major covered the cost of my food today, so thanks so much to the Major. Thanks so much to everybody at the Pickle Barrel. I really enjoyed my food and I can't wait to get back. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Hunt channel, especially to my Patreons. And would you kindly just share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it as it would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And make sure to tune in next time as we continue on our ongoing adventure with the Major on our way to Virginia. So we've got more fun ahead with good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.